Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first pause the video and give it a shot yourself. You might be surprised what you can do. All right, so let's just read the problem, and I'm not going to make a sketch of this as I go through it because I feel like this is the kind of problem I want to do that. Um, and you don't have to make a sketch, but I think it's really helpful. So it says at any given time, Saturn, right, the planet Saturn, what a beautiful planet, was 9.1 times 10 to the 8th miles from the sun. So that's an estimate, right, an average distance, let's say. Um, and the Earth was 9.3 times 10 to the 7 miles from the sun. So um, for me, I, I already, <laughs> my mind starts to wander with this kind of question. So I doodle it out to kind of help myself think about what's going on. So here is the sun, right? And then we've got the Earth. And I can tell, right, the Earth is closer. You might know that, you might not know that, but 10 to the 7th miles is less than 10 to the 8th miles. So, right, it's, it's closer. 10 to the 7th is less than 10 to the 8th. And we'll compare those numbers in a moment. So, sketch the Earth, right, beautiful blue. This is not at all a scale. This is clear, this does not work. The sun would definitely burn up. Okay, and Saturn, much larger than the Earth, but smaller than the sun, otherwise, this is not even close to scale. Oh, I've got to give Saturn a ring. There's Saturn. All right. And, oh, let's give Saturn some, some nice color. I'm going to give it a nice gray here, right, with maybe a little light yellow there. Okay, so, oh, some blue. Saturn really is pretty, so I'm trying to do it justice here. So Saturn is further than the sun. How far is it? Well, even though this is not the scale at all, I can use reference points in the middle of each planet to estimate these distances. So our first distance right here is 9.1 times 10 to the, oops, that's the wrong one, 9.3 times 10 to the seventh miles. So that's how far they're saying it is from the sun to earth. Of course, that's an estimate. Um, and then to go to the Saturn, however, going all the way over here, still not the scale, but we can set this up. It's 9.1 times 10 to the eighth miles. All right. For me now, I'm, I'm ready to think about the question. By what distance is one planet closer to the sun than the other planet? So I look at all these numbers here, and the phrasing is a little bit confusing. By what distance? Well, they're asking uh, essentially uh, how many times closer is the Earth to the sun than Saturn, right? And, well, there's a lot of ways to think about that question. Um, especially the, the phrasing is so vague for me. Um, but my interpretation of it is say, oh, how, how much closer to the sun is the Earth than Saturn? Um, all right, so what do we do? Well, we could subtract these two numbers. We could divide them to see what's going on. There's lots of ways to think about it. I noticed that um, I'm going to go for subtraction because here, all right, this makes more sense to me. I'm going to take the total distance of Saturn, 9.1 times 10 to the 8th, and then subtract right, the distance to Earth. I'm going to write it down here so we have more room. So 9.1 times 10 to the 8th miles, I'm going to leave that out though, I don't have to writing it, minus 9.3 times 10 to the 7th miles. Okay, so as a reference point, 10 to the 6th is a million. That's 1 million. 10 to the 7th is 10 to the 6th times 10. That's 10 to the 7th. So 10 to the 7th is 10 million, right? It's a million times 10. And 10 to the 8th is that times 10, so it's a 100 million. So what we're really dealing with here is 9.100 million, that's the distance to Saturn, minus 9.3, um, 10 millions, right? So if that's a little confusing to think about, think about it this way. It's about 900 million, about 900 million, right? because it's 900 millions, is 900 million, minus 90 million. That's our estimate right here. And that gives us about what? Well, what's 900 minus 90? That's about 810 million. If we look at our choices here, what's the closest right, to this? Well, it's going to be 8.17, and it's a times 10 to the 7th, a 10 to the 8th. Well, we know we're dealing with about 810 million, so that's choice D, right? Eight. This is eight. This is eight point one seven hundred millions, or eight hundred and seventeen millions. Now, if that explanation is a little confusing, let's look at this in a more precise way. So, nine point one. We're going back to the calculation, times ten to the eighth minus nine point three times ten to the seventh. You might be inclined to just subtract nine point one and nine point three. Um, well, we can't do that, right? Because 
these, this 9.1 and 9.3 represent totally different scales. This 9 here represents 100 millions. This 9 here represents 10 millions. We can't subtract those directly. So to make them, so I can subtract, I want to get them in terms of the same unit. I'm going to pick 10 to the 8th. So I'm going to change my second number. I'm going to multiply 10 to the 7th times 10 to get 10 to the 8th. But then I don't want to change the value of the number. I want to maintain the equivalency. So I want to divide 9.3 by 10, and you're going to get 0.93. This is the same number, but written in terms of 10 to the 8th. So 9.1 times 10 to the 8th minus 9.3 times 10 to the 8th. And now we can directly subtract the two numbers in the front. 9.1 minus 9.93. And if you calculate that, subtract it out, you will get 8.17. And that's in terms of 100 million times 10 to the 8th. Sometimes students get a little overwhelmed because they think, why don't we subtract the 10 to the 8th? Let me give you two explanations for that, and then we'll be done with this, this explanation here. There are two reasons you might think about why we don't subtract 10 to the 8th. First reason, let's think about uh, variables for a moment. Let's say I have 9.1x right, minus 0.93x. What do we do in this case? Well, do we subtract the x's? Is this the x's? Is it x minus x? That's 0? No. That's not what we do. We subtract the coefficients. In this case, you do 9.1 minus 0.93, and that would be 8.17x. If you think about why this makes sense, we have 9.1 times x minus 0.93 times x. And in that case, it's 9.1 groups of x minus 0.93 groups of x. So it's 8.17 groups of x. We don't need to subtract the x's as well. In this case here, we have 9.1 groups of 10 to the 8th. And then we have 0.93 groups of 10 to the 8th. So we're subtracting groups of 10 to the 8th. So that means, in the end, we're going to have some new amount of groups of 10 to the 8th, right? We're really just counting groups. If you don't like that explanation, let's look at a smaller number. So let's say we have 9,000 minus 9, um, excuse me, so minus 8,000. What would this answer be? Well, this would be 1,000, right? Oops. 1,000. In scientific notation, what would that look like? Because that's what we're dealing with in this problem. It would be 9 times 10 to the 3rd minus 8 times 10 to the 3rd. So 9,000 minus 8,000. Would it make sense for that to equal 9 minus 8, which is 1, and 10 to the 3rd minus 10 to the 3rd, which would be essentially 0? Would it make sense for it to equal 1? No. It makes sense that it equals 1 group of 1,000, or 1,000, which is this number up here. So if I didn't lose you there in my explanation might be a little confusing. Uh, let's just retract uh, what happened here. We didn't divide the two distances. You, you could have tried it. If you try to divide these two distances, you'll see, uh, because the, the, the phrasing by what distance is one planet closer, um, you could have div divided there to see how many times closer the Earth is than, than Saturn. Uh, but if you try that, you'll notice that none of these numbers work. So that would lead us towards subtraction. At first, here in this strategy, I estimated. I said it's about 900 million minus 90 million, and that got me close enough to the answer. Then what we did was we tried a more precise technique, where we made sure, before we subtracted 9.1 and 9.3, that we rewrote one of the numbers so that it had the same power of 10. I chose a second number. You could have chosen the first. If you wanted to, you could have taken 10 to the 8th and divided it by 10 to get 10 to the 7th, and then multiplied 9.1 times to get by 10 to get 91 and you have 91 right here times 10 to the 7th minus 9.3 times 10 to the 7th. I encourage you to try it, right? Work that out. You'll, you'll see what you get and that will still lead you to the correct answer. In this case, I changed the second number to 10 to the 8th and that gave us 8.17 times 10 to the 8th. And I explained or tried to explain if I didn't confuse you here several reasons as to why we're subtracting. We just need to subtract these two coefficients just like in algebra or just like if we're counting groups of a thousand here, the reason we don't track the 10 to the 8th is because those are groups of 100 millions. So we have 9.100 hundred millions minus 0.93 hundred millions, and that got us 8.17 hundred million. And it's that many hundred million miles closer, right, to the sun. Um, the Earth is that many millions, hundred millions of miles closer to, to the sun. And that's crazy, right? Isn't that awesome? And essentially all we did was take this full distance to Saturn, subtract the distance to the Earth, and what we're finding here is the remaining distance between Saturn and Earth. And that's how much further is the Saturn than, uh, from the Sun than to Earth. All right, thanks.